Hello, Stitchers, and welcome to the Stitch Please podcast. We're having a special episode today called Blacker Friday. As we know, this Friday marks the holiday season or the beginning of the shopping for the holiday season, and that's called Black Friday here in the United States, where I'm broadcasting from. This is called Black Friday because it's the time when a lot of businesses go from the red, which represents debt in financial account keeping, to going into the profit mode, which is represented by Black Inc. Now, of course, here on the Stitch Please podcast, we center Black women, girls, and femmes in sewing. And we also want to extend that to our belief in sustained economic growth and health for Black businesses. So today is an opportunity as we get ready to head into what used to be called the shopping season. I, I say used to be because we are, of course, in 2020 and we are facing a global pandemics and all of these other challenges. And so some experts have said that Black Friday will look very different, and we agree. And so usually we have Black Friday, and then we have Small Business Saturday, and then we have Cyber Monday. I always love Cyber Monday being acknowledged as a holiday because what it really is is people who go back to work on Monday, and they sit in their offices and they buy things. And so that's called Cyber Monday. This year, these shopping days that have been seen as separate events taking place over a long weekend will now probably be compressed into a shorter time period. What we wanted to make sure of here at the Stitch Please podcast was that Black women-owned businesses were emphasized, highlighted, and uplifted. So in the frenzy of the shopping season or as things get compressed, we wanted to make sure that you saw what was available from Black women in our sewing community. And there is a lot available. I did this episode last year and there are more businesses, more categories available for Blacker Friday this year for 2020 than there was last year. I am so excited to share these ventures with you, so stay tuned. The first set of businesses we are going to hear from are suppliers. These are folks who supply sewing supplies to help you get your stitch together. So we've got four great businesses who are going to share their the background of their projects, and these include Thanks I Made Them, Kianga Art, What She Creating, and Sorority. And we are very excited to have them share their story with us. So stay tuned and learn about these excellent Black women-owned suppliers. Why so boring? Add some fun and efficiency to your sewing process with Thanks I Made Them sewing pattern weights. Weights eliminate the need for pins when tracing and cutting, taking the sting out of the tedious part of the sewing process. These pattern weights are available in a range of fun, inspirational, motivational, empowering, or custom designs. In addition to holiday discounts, comment Stitch Please on your order and receive a free gift to help you get your stitch together. Peace. I am Kianga Janaki, and welcome to Kianga Art, the place to find my quilts, dolls, wearables, and mixed media pieces. In addition to my own work, I also carry a small selection of African fabric, which can be purchased by the yard, in fat quarter bundles, in Ankara strip bundles, and scrap bags. I also in, carry a small selection of clothing and beads that have been imported from Africa. If you're interested in one of my textile art classes, you can also register here online at kiangaart.com. So stop by and see what's going on at Kianga Art. Peace. Hello out there, I'm Nisi Love Harmon of What She Creating Enterprises. We specialize in DIY sewing, education, and products made by yours truly. If you are new to sewing, I'm able to teach you the basics of your sewing machine all the way to starting your first stitch on your lovely piece of equipment via YouTube at youtube.com slash what's she creating. 
We also create custom handmade accessory items, including colorful printed bags, fabric rings, tassels, and other stationary items. You can locate us online at niecingofharmon.com or check us out on our social media handles, which are at niecingofharmon or at What She Creating on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you and happy sewing from yours truly, Niecy Love Harmon. Sorority Wear is a novelty apparel and paraphernalia company that was founded by four women who wanted to duplicate the bond and connection they shared over the years, along with their love and passion for sewing. One by one, as the thread spun, they fostered to create products that would make you and your machine feel a part of something bigger. Bigger than yourselves, a community of sewists who share, create, empower, and motivate. Sewing is the thread that will forever bring us together. You can find Sorority Wear at www.sewrorityware.com and on social media at Sorority Wear. Knowledge is power. This is true in life, and it is also true in sewing. This next segment of our Blacker Friday special episode features Black women sewing and quilting and dyeing teachers. These are folks who have excellent, deep specialty knowledge that they can share with you, both in person and online through mediums that allow you to go at your own pace and connect with other folks. So stay tuned to listen to the three offerings from Carol Lyle Shaw, Deborah Grayson, and Nikki from Sewing My Style. Hi. My name is Carol Lyle Shaw. I am a modern quilter, a quilt pattern designer, and a book author. I love sharing my passion for modern quilting by teaching quilting workshops for guilds and shops all over the US. Quilters who attend my workshops rave about my exciting content, my supportive and fun teaching style, and well-designed patterns. My goal is to introduce traditional and contemporary quilters to modern quilting in a low stress, liberating environment. I co-founded and served as the first president of the Sarasota Modern Quilt Guild in Sarasota, Florida. And many of my quilts have been exhibited in museums and quilt shows in the US and internationally. You can find more information about my patterns, my workshops, and my books on my website. And that is carollylesshaw.com. Thanks, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. And of course, happy modern quilting. Bye-bye. Interested in learning how to dye fibers with acid dyes but not sure where to get started? Colorful Findings offers classes for beginners to intermediate students on how to use acid dyes for their sewing projects. Designed specifically for bra makers, Colorful Findings offers step-by-step projects to learn how to create your own custom dye colors. Mention Stitch Please when you register and receive a bonus custom recipe to use during the class. Sign up at colorfulfindingsclasses.com. Did you know that you too can make a bra? This is exactly how hundreds of women felt before joining Bra Making Mondays, a four-week workshop focused on sizing and fit and how to make a custom bra, a program designed for confident beginners, intermediate, and advanced sewists. The next Bra Making Mondays begins February 2021, a safe community full of body positivity, a nurturing, and supportive space to make the most gratifying garment. Register for Bra Making Mondays at SewingMyStyle.com.
brick and mortar businesses, shops that people can actually go in and browse merchandise have been hardest hit by COVID in 2020. As cities and as cities around the country have enacted regulations or as shop owners themselves concerned for their own safety have made changes to policies about their shopping hours, this has made very difficult choices a reality for many of them. And this is why I am so glad to bring to you today four Black women-owned brick-and-mortar shops that you can support because they also have online offerings as well. And if you are close by, they have created socially distant plans that allow you to visit in person, as well as very robust, in the case of a few of the folks here, very robust online offerings. So stay tuned to hear from shops from Maryland, Michigan, and two in New Jersey. Hi, my name is Cecily Habiman. I am co-owner of So Creative Lounge located in Mount Rainier, Maryland, and we are both a sewing school and online fabric store. We opened in 2017 officially. Previously to that, we had started teaching classes through our first business venture, which was Sip and Sew DC. That ended up being a, I want to say, four years prior, so it was like 2014, that we started teaching those classes. Basically, in Chicago, down in Virginia with you, here in DC, and basically taught years of just sold out classes to those interested in learning how to sew. At the beginning of COVID, we opened an online fabric store and we basically minimized the amount of classes that we have in studio just to minimize our risk. But we do have an online store and we started designing our own fabrics creating our own PDF patterns and so forth and so on. Hopefully on the other side of COVID, we'll be able to do a combination of both with having our full studio with summer camp and kids classes in studio because right now the kids classes are all online, but definitely a change in business plan, but our mission is the same. It's just building and teaching, teaching women and actually everybody how to sew. So yeah, this is my story. Uh, so Creative Lounge just called by Tisha Thorne, um, who's been teaching in the DMV for many years now. Let me know if you have any other questions about us and talk to you soon. Hello. <laughs> this is Latari Molson, the Executive Director of Somata Studio. We are located in Dimore, Michigan. We are a full line sewing and custom design studio. So we offer classes for garment construction as well as jewelry making and fabric dyeing. You can take classes with us online or in person. Check us out at sewmodest, S-E-W, modest.com. And you can also follow us on Instagram at sew.modest. The Fashion Design Center of South Jersey, located at 1366 Hatton Avenue in Camden, New Jersey, is your home for all fashion-related classes, workshops, mentorships, and industry opportunities. Come take a class from seasoned professionals and learn everything from sewing to textile design, metal smithing, lingerie design, and so much more. And if you can't make it to Camden, New Jersey, no worries. Most of our classes are offered via Zoom. Visit Fashion Design Center SJ for South Jersey. Dot com fashion design center sj.com hope to see you soon hi everyone it's lisa from cultured expressions our studio is located at 1417 main street in rawway new jersey we will find ankara prints west african batiks bogolan and specialty fabrics plus beads and brass embellishments and pre-cuts for the quilters you can shop online at culturedexpressions.com, or even better, I'd suggest you book your virtual visit, which is a virtual meeting by Zoom, Google Duo, or WhatsApp, where you can see everything that's in the studio, a lot more than actually than, than we show on the website. You should also check out our new virtual classes and events for individuals and for groups at culturedexpressions.com, 
and follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Cultured Expressions. I'd like to thank Lisa again for another great year of keeping us connected, especially this year. And I hope everyone has a safe and happy holiday season. Take care. New to the 2020 Blacker Friday episode are yarn shops. I am so excited to have yarn and crochet and knitting pattern businesses available to be amplified here on the Stitch Please podcast. They they are really wonderful and they make absolutely beautiful yarns for all different sorts of needlework projects. Check them out and learn about the four businesses, Sassy Black Yarns, Busy Peach, at Haynes House Yarns, and the Christian Crochet Addict. Hi, my name is Lakeisha Hurst and I'm the owner of Sassy Black Yarns. As an avid crocheter, I see the world through yarn tinted spectacles. I started Sassy Black Yarns in my kitchen with a simple desire to create a small selection of hand dyed yarns that would offer people beautiful color alternatives with sassy names and colors. The definition of sassy is someone or something that is lively, bold, and a little feisty. Sassy Black Yarns specializes in bold, fresh colors of hand dyed yarns for knitters and crocheters alike. Through my yarns, I aim to give other makers more options for them to bring their next project to life. So if you are looking for the highest quality of hand dyed yarn delivered with creativity, imagination, and originality, please visit me at www.sassyblackyarns.com or on Instagram with the handle sassyblackyarns1. Hello, beautiful peaches. I am Laverne Benton, the owner of Busy Peach LLC. I am a fiber artist specializing in hand-dyed 100% Pima cotton yarn, custom project journals, fun fiber arts merch, and live Saturday morning shenanigans. You may wonder, what made me choose Pima cotton? Well, Pima cotton has a great sheen and smooth texture. It provides a luxurious finish to your knitted or crocheted project. Like other plant-based yarns, Pima cotton is a great alternative to wool and acrylic for those that may have allergies. I look forward to seeing you online at BusyPeach.com. That's B-Z-Y Peach.com. Or on Instagram Live for Saturday morning shenanigans at 10 a.m. Eastern Time every Saturday morning. So don't forget, it's Busy Peach. I stay busy keeping you peachy. Hi, my name is Terry Haynes, and I am the owner and dyer for At Haynes House Yarns. At Haynes House Yarns is a two-year-old company and is based in Fort Washington, Maryland, just outside the nation's capital in Washington, D.C. All of our products and colorways have stories that are based on the wonderful things that happen at Haynes House. That includes hand-dyed yarns, and Uncle Brian's bags, which are made by my husband, Brian. We are truly a family-run business as I employ all three of my children, Jasmine, D'Artagnan, and Emmanuel, who are all still living at home with me, which I greatly enjoy. I am also a writer, a graphics designer, and have never met a craft that I didn't like. Dying yarn just came out of my love for the fiber arts and my love for color. One of my nicknames in my house is the human color wheel. The vibrant colorways that I create reflect that love of color. Family and community is very important to me and I strive to create colors and products that make everyone feel welcome. All of our products and more about us can be found at www at HaynesHouseYarns.com. Also, we can be found on Instagram at at dot Haynes dot house dot yarns. We have a YouTube channel, a Facebook group, and a Ravelry group at Haynes House Yarns. We are family. We are fun. We are at Haynes House Yarns. 
Hey Crochet family, my name is Lala. I'm the owner and doll designer of the Christian Crochet Attic. I specialize in crochet dolls as well as baby items. As a certified crochet master, you can come on over to my YouTube channel and learn a few tricks or two. You can also purchase some of my paid patterns. They are available on my website as well as my Etsy shop. I am also an author. I have a book called Sunshine's Tangled Tresses. It's about a little girl who does not like her natural hair. You want to visit me? You want to know more about my company? Come on down and visit me at thechristiancrochetaddict.com. There you can navigate through all my social media and hang out with yours truly, Miss Lala. Thank you and have a wonderful day. There are times when a sewing pattern can make your sewing harder rather than easier. I like to sometimes sew vintage patterns, but I find the frame for the women, even if they are in my size, the size from the 1940s and 50s are still really tiny, even if it's the same size it says on the pattern. So I have to go through adjustments and all of these other changes to get them to fit properly. Similarly, if I wanted to make a pair of leggings or something like that, I'm going to have to make adjustments for my booty blessings in order for that pattern to fit properly. This is a problem that the two pattern designers that are featured next have resolved. I am talking specifically about the patterns designed by New Vintage Lady, as well as the patterns and circle templates by KCG Customs. These two ladies have created sewing patterns that are innovative and fashion forward and inclusive of the variety and diversity of body shapes. So stay tuned and hear what they have to say about their work. Hello, my name is Shelly. I am the owner and founder of New Vintage Lady, which is a vintage sewing pattern line from roughly the 1930s to the 1940s that specializes in exclusively plus size patterns. So all my patterns are for sizes 40 inch bust to 60 inch bust. I redraft all my patterns to accommodate a larger frame and I've been doing it since 2007. Thank you. Hey fellow designers, it's Karen of Karen Gwen Customs. I am the owner and designer for my sewing pattern line, KGC Self-Taught Sewing Patterns. My patterns are modern, beginner friendly, and super easy to use. They're offered as PDF downloads and occasionally physical copies as well. They feature full color instructions and detailed YouTube videos on how to use them and how to hack them into different styles. From formal wear like mermaid gowns to casual wear like leggings, there's a pattern for everyone. I also offer sewing tools such as circle skirts templates to take all the thinking and math out of creating skirts and gown trains and planners to help you organize your sewing journey. Be sure to check them out on my Etsy store, etsy.com slash shop slash Karen Gwen Customs. Follow me on Instagram at KGC Sewing Patterns and join my Facebook sewing group, KGC Sewing Patterns. Fabric is the lifeblood of sewing and we are so happy to be able to close out this episode with five. That's right. Five black women-owned fabric businesses. African fabric, stretch African fabric, custom fabric, fabric in 200 shades of skin color. And these are black women-owned businesses and listen to their story right now, including the story of that super special breakout hit of 2020, that black magic leopard. Have you ever had an endorphin rush when you see new wax print fabrics? Now imagine getting that feeling monthly or every two months with a box sent to you full of African fabrics, head wraps and more. That feeling is why I decided to curate an African print subscription box and select only the best prints for you. 
Hi, I'm Jacqueline, founder of Wax and Wraps, and I am a self-professed serial entrepreneur. I started different businesses as I struggled to gain jobs and promotions in my fashion career as an industry designer working for international brands and retailers for nearly 20 years. During the 2020 pandemic, I decided to launch a product-based business introducing creatives to Africa's fashion and textile industry. Why? Because I love African fashion, have worked with Africa for 10 years and want to have some serious fun whilst adding joy to an average creative person's life. You see, our boxes offer more than just wax print or Ankara, but also introduces new fabrics coming from Africa made by artisans to your letterbox monthly. So whether you will be selecting the sewist box full of prints and sewing kits or the stylist box filled with head wraps, headbands or night bonnets, you will receive an array of fabrics from different African countries. For me, Wax and Wraps is the opportunity to share the love I have for Africa, built over 10 years, to share with my creatives out there, the many creatives out there, about the crafts and talents around Africa, and to bring trade to Africa, because this business brings, this, bring, this business is bringing trade to fabric makers and enables them to continue supporting their families. But this is not charity. This is simply using the empowering opportunity of trade and business to create change. And know whilst we together are investing in African crafts, textiles and manufacturing and skills, you are also getting a beautiful piece of fun to add to your life month after month. From my friends in Africa, to me, sent on to you. Enjoy Wax and Wraps. Hi, Natasha Clute here. I am a seamstress and designer of the brand Tosh, which offers custom apparel design services. I am also a fabric colorist, specializing in skin tone shades in a variety of fabrics and notions. I've sewn since I was really young, but professionally since 2004. The journey into custom dyeing products started in 2017 when I decided that I was done internet searching for skin tones options online. The exploration of dyeing has currently produced 200 skin tone color options. The shades range from the lightest of skin tone shades to the richest of brown shades. You can visit my design website at Tosh.com or the skin tone product website at AllSkinTones.com. Hi there, my name is Serwa Owusu. I'm originally from Ghana, West Africa, and my business is wax prints, laces, and more. I specialize in anything African. African fabrics from Ghana. I do have African print fans. I have ready to wear outfits. I really do um, love my business and I'm just passionate about it. If you want anything unique, if it's African print, please check me out. Wax prints, laces, and more. The store is my website. Again, it's wax prints, laces, and more. The store. I'm on Instagram at wax prints, laces, and more. Thank you. Bye bye. Hello, my name is Danielle Pierce, and I am founder of African Stretch Fabrics. As a swimwear designer, I wanted to create collections that celebrate my culture, my history, my heritage, but Finding traditional African prints in swimwear fabric was pretty much impossible. So after talking to other makers and designers in the sewing community, I found out that I wasn't the only one who was seeking these types of fabrics. So I started African Stretch Fabrics. The goal is to bridge the gap between traditional textiles and modern applications. So creating fabric that speaks to the needs of this new generation of makers is very important to me. You've heard of Black Friday, right? Well, are you ready for Black-er Friday? I know we are. Here at Quinora Renee Fabrics, we have pulled all available yardage from all the designs we featured this year in 2020. And they're just waiting for you to purchase starting Friday, November 27th. We'll have multiple designs available in limited yardage and a few of our panel designs too. Come check out the designs from our anime, Juneteenth, Inspired African Print, Holiday, and our best seller this year, Black Magic Leopard Print Rounds. This is gonna be your last chance to get this fabric in 2020, so don't miss out. Come join the Facebook group, 
or follow us on Instagram and Pinterest to get a peek into what fabrics will be available. Thank you all for joining us for today's special episode of the Stitch Please podcast, Blacker Friday 2020. I am glad that this episode was even more fun filled than our first episode last year. Please remember these businesses. And if you are listening to the podcast on a site that allows you to look at the show notes, there are lots and lots of information there. I have included all of their links and social media. So you can find them on Instagram. You can find their websites to shop and support these businesses to help them get into the black. Similarly, if you'd like to continue to support Black Women Stitch beyond listening to the podcast, please subscribe to the podcast and rate and review it. And if you want to support the Black Women Stitch project financially, you can do so with a short-term one-time donation at our PayPal at blackwomenstitch at gmail.com. Or you can make more sustained support for the project by contributing to us every month through our Patreon. And there, for as little as $2 a month, though you can give more or you can give less, every month I make some special treat just for Patreon subscribers. And this also includes video footage of episodes like To Be a Month, the episodes with the Burrell sisters, as well as upcoming episodes with really fun people. So so if you want to support the podcast and maybe even get some swatch cards, all of those are available for Patreon supporters at any level of monthly support. Thanks again. Have a wonderful start to your shopping season. And please do remember to support these Black women-owned businesses so we can put the Black in Black Friday and make it Blacker Friday. Thank you for listening.